What's up? It's your boy Chef DA, and I'm coming to you with a review of the Spring Fuel XD E model. It's going to be a 4.5 inch barrel, and I'm just going to give you a brief pros and cons of what I like and what I don't like about the gun. Stay tuned. So, this is the Springfield XDE model, and I'm just gonna give you a little couple of specs. So, it's a, a let me let you know everything's clear. I got some things that I changed on here that I knew I wanted to change. Um, not really change because there's not much you can change to this gun right now. Um, I got a pistol grip that I put on here because my first time shooting the gun like my hands was like super sweaty and i'm like nah that's not gonna work so i got that um i didn't like i like the one with the grooves because it fits in my hand um what else did i put up uh, only thing else that i really like put on the actual uh gun itself is the the red dot scope, I dropped it already, which sucks, but it still it still works. Uh, I chose the uh, ADE. Uh, it's one of the cheaper brands. You can get it off of uh, Amazon for like, I think I got it for like a little bit over 60 bucks, but it does the job. Um, I have put a outer impact uh, dovetail mount on there because um, you, Either you're gonna get it tapped to get this on there, or you're going to just take the dovetail off the back and then you uh, insert it. Might do a, well, no, nah, I'm not gonna do an overview for that. But that's um, how I got my ADE red dot scope on there. Um, it's, it kind of sucks because it sits up so high, this one personally, and it feels like it's just made for a bigger gun um but it does the job i actually use this for my concealed carry i uh, actually open carry here in arizona so um that's what i did to the gun itself uh, so the, i love this hammer it's a double and single action so let me see so when I went to the range, like when you cock it back, it's already ready to go. And when you're out of ammo, just pop it straight in. And then there's automatically a bullet in the chamber. But um, when it's all in there, it, had, it clicks once. So you can already feel the res there's like not that much resistance on the uh, trigger itself. But once it's pulled back, you, you you get all the way back here before you you it's so easy to just and there's that one click and then you got a little bit of ease right there. So I can just like kind of like keep it at that point and if the Chamber's already loaded, it's just already easy just to pull the trigger for me, period. But it's all, it's just so easy to just, you can pretty much go all the way back. But that's that. Um, so, this is a nine round magazine, but didn't want that but I can put one in the chamber so I got 10 rounds but I got an extender for mine you can find these online uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description with exactly where I found this but um, you just basically take I don't know if you can see it but it's a, you can put like a Allen wrench and just put it straight down there and then it's just pops off and then like this is just a so I found out when I did this, it sticks out and it's hard to like stay in there. Like I put it in, I was just like, let me see how it stays, but it's not, that's too much, it's too loose. And something that when I had put the bullets in there, 
that's when I knew that that wasn't gonna work because it would not stay in there without this uh, little piece. I don't know what this is called, but but it helps. And it looks stupid <laughs> with it just hanging out like that. Yeah, if it was like all black, then it would be different. But I got this to put. 11 bullets in here so i'm gonna just sh show you that it's real that i can so i got my magazine uh loader this thing is wonderful especially that the range and you just shoot shoot and shoot and i i ordered another uh, mag because i only had two i'm like i'm just sick of like just doing two that's that makes no sense to me but um let me just show you how easy this is, number one. This. So it's a nine in there right now. And as you, I don't know if you can see it, but it's nine bullets in there. So push it down one more time. Boom. Now it's 10. And I got to make sure I haven't shot this yet uh, with this extender on here. So hopefully it works out well. But um, I cycled some bullets through it just to see what happened. And they came out fine, but. Put the safety on. There's one in the chamber. And this last one. I'm just going to add that one in there. Uh, it gets kind of hard when you get that extra one in there. But that's in there. Now you have 11 bullets in there. So for the people that buys this, you can add 11 bullets. Now the cons to this is you cannot add anything to this gun. I couldn't really find, like I had to get the dovetail mount for this gun. You can't do anything it's not made to where you can automatically put a optic on there so it's kind of it looks cool but then again for if you like have guns and you're just one of those type of people you and you just look at it like this dude's gun is just looks weird with that big optic on there but it is what it is um what else i don't like you this I wish this rail was a little bit longer because uh, I bought a flashlight and it's hitting this rail right here. It's like, it's just weird because it doesn't fit. It's just it's so small. And if they would have like extended that out, like maybe at least an inch and a half, you could have put more better things on there. But it's, it's just, it seems like they made this gun and for them to make stuff for it and them be the only one that has it but it's a fairly new gun and there's nothing for this gun at all like you can't it's not any uh mag pieces that you can put on there like if you look up anything for this gun let me know if there's like stuff that you can add to this gun that's fairly easy because it seems like a glock has the market sold as far as like accessories and attachments or anything like that but um i can't make the mag longer than 11 or I have 11 in the gun right now but i do like this gun don't get me wrong uh this is my first gun that i've purchased here in arizona and i do ex exercise my rights i do hold my gun on me at all times um i'm buying a new shotgun so i'll be showing you that guys that video next week i'm really excited um 
just because I've, it's, it's really hard to get guns right now uh, due to riots and pandemics and it just really sucks. You can't get any ammo for this gun right now. For nine millimeter, you can't get any ammo. It's really hard. So I got one spot out here that I usually go to, but um, for the most part, yeah, I'm just gonna give me a 22 too, so I can just shoot that just to, you know, because I can get that ammo better. But this is the Springfield Army XDE 4.5 barrel, nine millimeter. Derek out.